Hey guys, uh, for those of you who don't know, probably a lot of people will definitely know in the wrestling community that um, the wrestling industry had lost another legend in Virgil Reynolds Jr., also known as the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. And when I first heard about this on Facebook and other sources, I was in disbelief because I was kind of hoping that this was a uh, a rib or like something from kayfabe news or something like that but it, it no it's really legit because even WWE had announced it um, my thoughts like I said I'm in a state of shock you know and I'm kind of shaken up um, you know that we lost a really great person that was very influential to a lot of careers you know when when I say influential not meaning like like he influenced me to be in the business but I meant influential in how to carry yourself in this business because he was one of those guys that knew how to carry himself he was one of those guys that you know always had his nose clean I know he may have had some previous demons but you know he grew out of that and he pretty much displayed how to better carry yourself as a professional in this business and he's done that to the letter you know, I've learned so much from him from watching his matches, listening to his promos, and most importantly, listening to the stories when he does shoot interviews or uh, roundtable discussions like in Legends of Wrestling, you know, that when they used to have that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he left a lot of great memories, you know, his days in the NWA, you know. <laughs> when he was the world heavyweight champion a lot of people didn't even think he would be championship material because he looked so overweight but what really captivated all of us was his charisma I mean he had charisma to burn and there was never once have I ever gone tired of listening to a promo from his you know when he had that voice he had that voice so distinctive that once you hear it you had to listen and he was one of those guys that like no matter what time it was, whether it's back in the days or even now, if he cut a promo, I can't help but listen. You know, that's how that's how inspiring he is. You know, how he carried himself. And I know, I, I know, it looks silly that I'm almost choking up, but you know, I know I don't know him very much, very well. Um, never met him. I wish I did, but I still learned a lot from him. You know, and. Even though he's gone, you know, even though he is gone from this world, I know for a fact that he's looking down on us in, when it comes to the wrestling business, looking after us uh, while riding at the end of the lightning bolt. Uh, that, you know, using one of his famous quotes from one of his best promos I've ever heard, you know, when he talks about the end of the lightning bolt, it was always a touching uh, promo to me, so... Um, all I have to say is to Virgil, Dusty Rhodes, thank you so much for the memories. Thank you so much for what you try to teach most of us who are willing to listen, who are willing to want to be better professionals in this great business. And to his family, um, Dustin and Cody Rhodes, um, my deepest, deepest condolences. Um, to you too and to your entire family but um, and I, I really don't, all I can say is like he just left good memories you know he was one of those guys that can turn anything and make it into a positive he made polka dots famous and it was supposed to be a rip but he made it work he made everything work and I'm just glad that his influence has passed on to other generations of wrestlers including his sons and he may be gone but the dream is going to live on in all of our memories so once again thank you Dusty for everything for the memories for the lessons thank you